Battlefield did an oopsie. The Game Awards did an oopsie. But PewDiePie made the biggest oopsie. Oh my gosh. Big oopsie. No recovery. It's over for PewDiePie oopsie. Poopsie. Doopsie doopsie. I'm Gloria Borger, and you're watching Pew News. What did PewDiePie do this time, huh? PewDiePie gives shout out to hateful anti-Semitic YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, I knew it. YouTube star PewDiePie promotes channel with anti-Semitic content. PewDiePie is shepherding his legion of 14 year olds. Hey, did someone just have their birthday? Happy birthday. Looks like you're 14 now. Towards neo-Nazi content on YouTube. Probably something that someone should check into. I agree. We should check into it. Why don't we just do that, shall we? Let's see what he actually said. Ah, oh, can't wait to get this guy for promoting Nazism. We finally have him now, boys. ER, who does great video essays about... Uh, he did one on uh, Death Note, which I really, really enjoyed. Ah! Ah! Did you catch that? <laughs> oh my god. Did you see that? Did you catch that? Did you notice the shepherding of 14-year-old to Nazi propaganda? Did you notice the immediate indoctrination of 75 million children into Nazis? Did you notice it? That's right. He recommended someone for their anime review. So basically what happened was that PewDiePie uh, shouted out 28 channels last Sunday. That's right. Not 10, not 15, 28, okay? Because uh, I was getting so much attention uh, through all this subscribe to PewDiePie meme that I thought it would be nice if I gave a shout out to some smaller channels that I enjoyed. And I thought, hey, the more the merrier. Now, apparently one of those 28 uh, likes to have hidden and not so hidden Nazi references in his videos. And, you know, obviously, if I've noticed that, I wouldn't have referenced in him in the shout out because I said my not because I have a problem with Nazi references being offensive in themselves, but because I said publicly uh, a year and a half ago that I was going to distance myself from uh, Nazi jokes and that kind of stuff because I want nothing to do with it and I don't really care about it. Generally, I've done that. I haven't really, um, I don't really have a reason to, I don't know, dip into that again. It's just stupid. But you know, YouTube star PewDiePie now promotes anti-Semitic content. By what? By saying I enjoyed his anime review? The worst thing that I've seen him reference was from another channel that he has, not the channel I mentioned, and a video that was two years old. So, wow, amazing. And yes, he does have Nazi references in them, and I see them now, but unless you pay close attention and unless you're well familiar with Nazi trivia or whatever you want to call it, these references will go past you. The irony here is that I'm supposed to be the Nazi, but I don't know any of these goddamn references. <laughs> I mean, again, all I said was, I like this guy's anime review. Anyone with a level-headed brain can tell that I don't know this guy more than this. So The Verge posted about this, the science and tech news media outlet. They just couldn't help themselves by getting a few clicks out of this. Uh, saying uh, stuff like, Since Shelberg's shout out, ER has amassed an approximate additional 150,000 subscribers. That's 150 more viewers, some of whom may be extremely young, turning into anti-Semitic and hateful content. <sighs> That's right, everybody. We're radicalizing the youth one anime review at the time. Now, a simple two-click search fact check will tell you that no, The Verge, not 150,000 new subscribers, 12,000 new subscribers. This was at the end of the video. Most people don't watch that far. It's 28 channels. I'm not gonna know every single thing about them. Maybe I should have, you know, in retrospect, I should have just limited it. But I, hey, I thought, hey, the more small channels I can help, the better. People are saying, making the argument that I should have hired a team to background check on these channels. And I should have uh, really made sure, since I have so many subscribers, it's my responsibility to make sure I have people doing this and checking that it's right. But The Verge can't even themselves, a big news outlet, get simple facts right in this own story. The Verge, a tech company, can't even show you how to build a computer properly. I don't know if you've seen this video, but it's pretty goddamn laughable. The point of me bringing this up is the fact that this could have happened anyway. With me having a, I don't know, other people helping me or or not. But I do understand I have a responsibility, especially with my past, but I can't help but seeing this as outrage for the sake of outrage. 
and getting clicks and uh, from negative attention associated with my name, which is just sad that this is still going on. Anyone with a level-headed brain can see what I said in that video and understand he's clearly not seen more of this guy's channel. Maybe I can just tell him, but instead it just immediately becomes a shame campaign uh, to smear my name. And I guess I shouldn't be surprised, honestly, but I'm getting so much love and I'm getting so much support right now by all you guys. Of course, it's going to be people that want to put me down for that, of course. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but this is it. This is all you have. <laughs> We also have ER, who does great video essays about... Uh, he did one on uh, Death Note, which I really, really enjoyed. Fucking <laughs> pathetic. The one thing I will say that I regret about all this is the lightning in the video. I mean, what the hell is that? What's wrong with my goddamn face? <laughs> That's why I'm not using the green screen today, because I'm like, I'm not messing with that. Now, I wasn't planning to do another Pew News so soon, but I felt like I needed to address this, especially because so much out of context uh, is associated with all these headlines. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just one more thing that I wanted to add about this, which is that I, I removed ER from that video and apparently you can edit video now, so he just won't appear at all. Like I said, because if I knew then what I knew now, I wouldn't have, I just wouldn't have put him in there. I still really want to shout out smaller channels, so I'm just going to keep doing that but I'll be more careful in the future. Maybe I can ask The Verge for help. That would be great. Next news, please. The Game Awards. The Game Awards, more like the Cringe Awards, came out a few days ago and oh boy, some highlights. Let's go through them. These are the games whose stories captivated us with complex characters, surprising twists, and profound philosophical ideas. Best narrative. <laughs> <laughs> now, as always, a lot of great moments from these uh, award shows. I'm expecting to win, so hopefully okay. I get up on stage. I, I, was, I was gonna say, I can only imagine your speech. And the game award goes to... God of War. Tonight, God of War. This is bullshit! The Oscars should f*** themselves up. This is the the Oscars, you know? The Oscars! No! I'll tell you! If the whole world tell me your game is shit, I'll tell them, no, it's not. I, that's now, just to be clear, uh, this was a meme from Terak JK, and I'm not familiar if they are a Nazi or not. I haven't done a background check. Just want that to be clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, that's a good shelfie, yeah. my friend. Did you, did you just say shel shelfie? See, see, it's a crustacean thing. Uh, oh. oh, no, 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 that wasn't a good one. We didn't get a good one. My eyes were closed. Say Manchego! Manchego? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That's a good one. That's but the most talked about from the Game Awards 2018 was when Sonic Fox, the, the furry, won the Esports of the Year award. Okay, and the Game Award goes to Sonic Fox, everybody. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I love mom! <laughs> uh, I guess I want to say this is a big honor. Uh, I'm sure you guys heard the story of uh, when I won the IPS finale. No. Nope. <laughs> One of my closest friends, oh my god, I'm nervous. Uh, his dad had cancer, and after I won, well, before I even like uh, did the match, I told him whether I win or lose, I'm gonna be donating at least like 10K of the prize winning to his father for his stage three cancer. And I hope it works out for him. Um, and he really, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, there's silence. Cause please write for that. Now this goes on for way too long. Uh, uh, and they, the teleprompter even said, please wrap it up. <laughs> the goons back at home, gang, gang. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, as you guys also may know, or may not know, um, I'm also super gay, so I mean, uh, I want to give a shot. <laughs> but the thing that uh, most people are talking about is, is the end of the speech that goes like this. Guess all I gotta really say is that I'm gay, black, a furry, pretty much everything a Republican hates, and the best esports player of the whole year, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much. I kind of like how he's so unapologetic to who he is and uh, obviously I'm pretty sure he doesn't have to say that he's black, gay and a furry for people to uh, make that assessment themselves. 
<laughs> but this last comment is what, what really, uh, it made people very angry. Here's some comments from the video uh, that I watched from IGN saying that uh, everything a Republican hates, really, was that even necessary for a video game award? Pretty much everything a Republican hates, okay? Uh, He's complaining about hate, but he is spreading it. Now, I don't know, but I do know that people were pretty upset about this, and I don't know, I see this guy and how he presents himself. He's, uh, he's 20 years old. He's uh, clearly not the brightest, and being this kind of open personality in a professional esport gaming, uh, circuit, you're you're bound to get a ton of hate. Uh, it's just how it is, and I can only guess this, but it seems like he kind of have to develop some sort of enemy to cope with that. But also, it's a joke, so who really cares? I don't know. All I know is you disappointed Reggie, man. This show was about bringing people together. As an industry, we are most powerful when we come together, united by our common love for the art form of games. <laughs> what do you guys think? As always, passing on the question to you guys. More comments, the better. Next news, Battlefield. Battlefield 5, everybody. We have a new update. We've been following the development and story of Battlefield 5 ever since their trailer got released, which uh, became the most disliked trailer of Battlefield's history's franchise. It got 112,000 dislikes. Hey, companies getting more distant with their consumers. Where have we heard that before? <laughs> now, I talked about this before, so I'll just quickly summarize, but basically, uh, they released this trailer that's supposed to depict World War II, but it instead just seemed like a gender study class take on it. <laughs> Where you have a, a British female amputee uh, going, hello. Hello, old friend. And uh, it's just overall cringeworthy. And to be clear, no one cares that there's a strong female character at the front of Battlefield... What is it? Battlefield 5? They happen in games all the time. No one cares. No one pays attention to this stuff. But when you're depicting history in World War II, it kind of seems like you're changing history for the sake of your gender, social, progressive ideas. And I can understand why people have a problem with that. And it's kind of like the Sonic Fox thing where it's politics into something that doesn't have to have politics into it. If you wanted to tribute, pay a tribute to female soldiers, you could have honestly just picked Russian snipers who killed literally hundreds of Nazis. But instead they make this weird fiction that just feels off. It feels weird, it feels forced. On top of that, the EA director himself said to the criticism about this that people are just ignorant. There was actually amputees in the war. Which, yes, but that's not how people see the war and remember the war. It's always a great way to acknowledge criticism by just calling your consumers ignorant. And I said I was gonna follow up if anything else happened with the Battlefield 5, and now it did! That's right, they had their launch party for Battlefield 5 called ev hashtag everyone's Battlefield. That's right, everybody, it's everyone's Battlefield, just as long as you agree with them. <laughs> they had some text in there, I don't know why. Uh, but they basically said, uh, white men, white men, white men. I guess it says females ruin everything. Feminazis are trying to rewrite history. Gender field five. <laughs> oh, that's great. I mean, it's kind of silly. I get it. They've probably been dealing with a lot, a lot of, why am I so empathetic lately? Wow, shut up, Felix. This is terrible. How could they? This was for their launch party. I get that they were trying to reduce tension with all the criticism that they're getting. But also, this kind of sends a message to your consumer that if you have any criticism for these games, you're just a hateful troll. You're just an evil hater. How could you? You know, I'm trying to give just level-headed criticism to this thing, but you know, it's all grouped in as one thing. It's also kind of saying that whatever the consumers are saying doesn't matter. We're gonna push forward on these ideas. We just don't care. Which is an interesting move to say the least, considering how the game is performing as well. Uh, it's hard to say for sure whether this is doing well or not, but it doesn't look positive. And it's another example of companies and consumers uh, growing more and more apart. You know, we had the, the YouTube Rewind now as well, quickly becoming the most disliked video on all of YouTube because there's such a distance between uh, the site itself and how they want to be perceived and how the consumers uh, think of that or, or what they think uh, in general, I guess. 
I don't know what the end result of this sort of thing happening is, but I do know for a fact that it's just giving more power to independent creators like myself. So, hey, thanks EA, I'll take it. <laughs> now, to end this, if you want to support Punus, I would highly appreciate it. Uh, represent.com slash PewDiePie. I'm literally getting a bunch of reach out because I uh, gave this guy a shout out to my all my sponsors to uh, make them stop sponsoring me. So keep doing that. A great way to support the channel and Pew News. Uh, check out represent.com slash PewDiePie. That's it for me for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye bye. Really? My head my hair was like that the whole time? Are you kidding me? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs>